Hey everyone, welcome in this presentation where I will introduce you the UC network, who we are, what we are doing. When I started to snorkel with orcas 20 years ago, the first thing that came to me was a vision, the vision of the respect of the well-being and the wild natures of orcas. Respecting the well-being means we don't enforce the interaction. The orca, they can decide if they want to interact with us or not. And respecting the wild nature is, for instance, in some places in the world, um, some other operators, they used to feed animals. For example, they feed sharks to dive with sharks in a cage. We humans, we are overfishing in the ocean and the top predators, they are starving. So of course they will go for food. But when you do that, when you enter the system, somewhere you start to control the behavior of the animal. And I don't want to know that one animal comes to me because he needs, but just because he wants. This is why we use a technique to approach and to interact with orcas. And this technique doesn't use any baits, any food. My concept is called the uh, Undersea Soft Encounter and is based on more than 6,000 underwater encounter in close uh, distance with orcas since these 20 years. And this field experience is mixed with two theories. The proxemics from Edward Hall, it describes zones outside your body. The first is intimate, the second is personal, the third is social, and outside the social zone is the public zone. The second theory, is the nonverbal, non-vocal communication from Albert Morabian. It describes the importance of the body language, which is non-verbal, non-vocal communication in all communication system. 30 different species of cetaceans can be approached and interact with. Uh, first of all is the orca. This is my main experience and uh, among my 6,000 underwater encounters with uh, cetaceans, 95% are with orcas. The large whale also can be, uh, can be approached, such as the humpback whale, the blue whales, and also the sperm whales. Many species of dolphins can be approached, such as the bottlenose dolphins, common dolphins, white bicket dolphins, the pilot whales, the false orcas, and also the seals, gray seals, harbor seals, elephant seals, even the huge leopard seals in Antarctica can be, uh, can be interact with. The UC applies five simple rules. First of all is the safety of the divers and safety of the marine mammals we approach. The second rule is the respect of the laws of the country you are going in. The third law is the respect of the ethic. The fourth law is the respect of the environment. And the fifth law is applying the UC technique, which is approved by scientists. And we're gonna enter in this technique more in details in the third presentation. We have a logo which is also a quality label, and you can see this logo in the website of our partners. And you see is a brand. When you have been diving with marine mammals, it can be in one of our center or one of our academy, uh, you will receive a unique UC certificate with your name, your ID number in the UC system, the number of interaction and the quality of the interaction. First, to collect data, photos, videos, sounds coming from interaction, underwater footage, any observation, in order to have a global vision of the behavior and also to explore specific parts of this behavior of the marine mammals. We also have action in educational programs such as uh, giving lecture, uh, visiting uh, schools. We also are included in conservation, mainly in the field when we are involved in the rescue operation of uh, orcas or large whales. We have been involved actually in two rescue operations. We also have action in providing some media uh, contents, especially through the UC TV, with a series called Orca Whisperer, where I share my underwater footage of close encounter with orcas. Also, UC has co-produced a movie called Le Peuple des Orques, and is also a new documentary uh, directed by Tony Mayer, which is called Belonging to the Kingdom of the Dark. We also have an action in the research. Our first uh, research work on the behavior of orcas has been published in the scientific report. This article has been written by Stéphanie Chanvalon, and this article has proved that the orcas, they have a social interest when they approach human, and it's mainly the young females. 
being kept captive in a pool for an orca is a mistreatment. This has been proved also scientifically. Captivity uh, has um, an effect and a negative effect on the health of the cetaceans when they are in the pool. So it's important for me to take part of this fight. I believe that when you are a top predator such as orca, you are on the planet for a reason. And the reason is you have a place to take on the top of a food chain. That cannot be done in, a, in captivity. And there is no reason good enough for me to justify that this gentle giant, they are kept in captivity. So you can help us all your experience, all your footage, all your pictures of interaction uh, are helpful. You can contribute and become contributors of our Facebook page called UC Orcs Sans Frontières. You can ask for being a UC ambassador and it's going to be a great honor for us to include you in our staff of ambassadors. If you organize some events, seminars, workshops, works about the orca behavior or also the uh, how to come close with orcas. We're gonna be uh, really happy to take part of it or any other suggestion you may have. I thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next one called The Base of UC. Bye-bye.